Hi, my name's Steve Howes. I work for Siemens as a product manager for instrumentation. And today we're going to look at Somatic PDM, Process Device Manager, a configuration tool for instruments, and the entry level license, which is called the single tag. The single tag license is the entry level license, which is really designed to replace a handheld heart communicator. So the entry level price for single tag is less than a hundred pound. And if you look at a handheld heart communicator, we're looking at in excess of four thousand pound. So we're not going to look at all of these licenses. We're going to look at the single tag license. The important thing about the single tag license, it can't be upgraded to add additional functionality. Uh, like things like the calibration log and heart multiplexing. So it sits by itself in the uh, grander scheme of things, um, but it's still a very useful tool. So over the next few uh, minutes, we're going to have a look at the functionality you get from this license. So the single tag license is the lowest cost license available, and it will sit on a relatively low spec Windows PC. I've had these running on 2 gig RAM quite nicely. So what we're talking about is single point. We're talking about talking to one instrument at one moment in time. So if I want to talk to another instrument, I need to create a license, another project. So we'll have a look at this here. So we can see that I'm communicating on Heart, Profibus and Profinet but I'm only talking to one instrument on that network. If I want to communicate to another instrument, let's have a look what we have to do. So on the heart, remove my pressure transmitter, close my project, start a new project and connect to another device on, on the heart network. And then on my DP network and on my Profi network, network I, I can communicate to another device, but I'm on a completely separate project to, to, to what I had before. Things you have to be careful of um, with the single tag license is the routing down to some of the instruments. So let's have a look at this heart device here. Okay, If I wanted to communicate to that heart device with a single tag license, I would struggle because up here we have a header module, an ET200M, and that potentially could take up a tag. So now I need two tags to talk to that instrument. So it won't let me do that. Of course, I can connect directly to the, to the black wire here and still use my single tag at that point, but I can't use it on my Profibus network. So yes, you can use the single tag on networks with multiple projects, um, but really you should be thinking about going up to, to the next license, which is basic. What I haven't got here is, um, uh, the Modbus example, so we can do Modbus with a single uh, tag license. Where would we use that on a Siemens device? Well, the, the level controllers, the hydro rangers, uh, use Modbus 232 and 485 single points. We also have Modbus over infrared on our MAG 8000 and energy flow meters, the FUE um, 380s. So I have a project already created with a Siemens Citrans LU240 ultrasonic level device connected. I can see that the diagnostics is updated. So this is my project. Um, and if I wanted to add more instruments, let's have a look what uh, information I get. So we're gonna try and um, insert a new object here, okay? And I can see license information, one of a maximum of one. So this this um, license, it's single tag. So as I said, if I wanted to communicate to another device, I would have to create another project and connect to that and, and, and save as and have multiple projects. So that's the first thing. Single tag means one instrument at a time in your project. So let's have a look at the object properties and let's see what we have. So uh, this is pretty similar to, to, to what you get with other licenses with the exception there's a tab missing here called documentation manager so I can't add manuals, calibration certificates or anything um, that might be useful uh, so that's missing 
I still have all the nice features of PDM with the in-depth diagnostic messages from this, this pro value. So it's sat on my carpet at the moment. So it's struggling to get a signal. I can see the communication is good. And then I can see all these alarms and the text message. Once I open PDM to, to, to look at the parameters in more detail, I still get all of the, the nice features. So I, ha I have my quick start wizard. I can run through that. I can see failure. So I can run through the quick start wizard. That isn't governed by what license I, I have um, on my PC. So that functionality is the same regardless of what license I've got. But when I look on the things like my device, this is where I start to see where my license restrictions come in. So if I have a look at value comparison, you can see that that is not supported by the single tag. Um, and then my change log, again, not supported. And then we have calibration log, not supported. What I can do um, is print. That functionality is supported by a single tag and I can still do a file export and import. So I've got um, quite a lot of functionality uh, still embedded in a single tag, but the stuff that's really useful when I have an embedded project obviously isn't there because I, I, I don't require it at this level. But what, what I want you to be aware of is the actual functionality of the EDD file, which is associated to the instrument, is not affected by the type of license that you, you have on your PC. So the last thing, if we go back to the presentation, so hopefully we're, we're OK with what a single tag license does and how we use it. Um, the one thing that uh, gets a little bit messy is your communication hardware. Um, and if you've been a service engineer or you are a service engineer, you'll be used to having a bag full of leads to communicate to different protocols. Well, this is this is no different. Of course, when Bluetooth starts coming out, it's going to be a little bit easier. So we won't need all of these leads. Um, but here we have the USB heart modem. There are other heart modems on the market. Um, what we're saying here with this, we've tested this and we know that it works. OK. Um, then for the level controllers, the multi-rangers, 100, 200s, and the HMIs, we have uh, an RJ11 to, to uh, 232 lead. Um, we can supply um, an adapter to get that to, to USB as well. Then we had the infrared dongle. So this is Modbus over infrared. So the MAG8000 and the FUS and FUE 380 flow meters require that. And then any Profibus DP network, um, we would require a, a PC adapter. Now, this, this is good news for us because in you know, older versions, going back to version 8, we would need something much more expensive. So this is about the same price as a, uh, the USB modem now. And it comes with the leads and everything to, to connect to your network. Well, that concludes the look at the uh, single tag license and, and its functionality. There'll be uh, uh, future blogs on the service license and the uh, extra functionality that uh, gives you. But thank you for, for tuning in to this blog and I hope you enjoy the others coming up.